go on, go on, back of the net, just as he hit. That that line, uh, like she will say that when Matoma scores. Matoma, he's done it again. He he has this singular sort of popularity. Um, and as you say, he looks stronger. He can ride those tackles a bit more. Whereas last year he might have gone down. And right now, paused Alban obsessed. Pause it, go and watch the highlight of that video again, then come back and then just kind of join us in the wow. Minasan, konnichiwa. Honto ni part one kara part four no doga ni takusan no like, so shite takusan go shito itadaki arigatou gozaimasu. Kochira yakusaku dori no part five no doga ni narimasu. Mata 600 like de part six no doga mo upload shimasu no de takusan no kou hyouka wo yoroshiku o naeita shimasu. そしてこちらは更新されたスコア予想ランキングになります。えー、皆さんもうご存知だと思いますが、2023-24 2シーズンのスコア予想ゲームのルール変更がありました。まずはポイントに関してはスコア予想を当てたら1ポイント、4点差以上は2ポイントなのですが、複数人が同じスコアを当てた場合はポイントをシェアすることになります。ですので、2対0の予想を当てた方が10名いた場合は、1ポイントをその10名で分けるので、1人、0.10 ポイントとなります。誰も予想していないスコアが当たれば1ポイント、または4点差以上のスコアで誰も当てなかった場合は2ポイントとなります。今現在、このスコアランキングの1位となっているのは T ちゃんさんで、なんと、えー、レッチェ対ラツヨの2対1で、レッチェが勝つ予想をしました。もちろん誰も当てることはできなかったので、えー、彼はそのフルポイントを獲得することができました。ですので、スコア予想する前に、まあ、他の人の、まあ、スコア予想を見て、誰も予想していないユニークなスコアを、えー、かけ書いて、まあ、当たれば、えー、フルポイントを獲得することができます。そして今から、まあ、そのパート5の動画を流したいと思いますが、一番最後には、えー、ブライトンの今後の日程についても話しますので、この動画の最後まで見ていただければと思います。では、今回訳した動画はこちらになります。And、um, yeah, I just remember going, go on, go on, back of the net, just as he hit it. And it was back of the net. And yeah, it was just such an incredible goal,、uh, such a great individual effort. And、um, yeah, it was really good to get that first goal.、Um, and it was just such a good goal from Matoma. And、um, I think quite often he seems to sort of dribble down the side and sort of end up crossing it in. But this time he sort of dribbled down the middle and actually got the shot away himself. And it, It was, yeah, it was a great goal, great finish. And,、um... De Zerbi has said that he has set a target for Karim Matoma and Solly March to score 15 goals this season. Do you think, do you agree with Sony that it's that, again, going back to that mentality, getting those players believing in themselves, saying to Karim, you know, this is what you're good at, go and do it? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think there's a sense of competition、um, to be, you know, a locked on starter at this point. When the games really matter. And I think we're seeing that across the sort of front line for sure.、Um, what, what stood out to me about this particular goal that I think is different from last year is that this was such an example of what we typically see from him in a long ball. You know, Steele might play a ball over the top and he'll run onto it. But to see him do it cutting inside, where he usually sort of will make his way around the perimeter and cut in, you know, outside the box, you know, here he made a hard cut into the middle of the field. And it was clear to me, Wolves just expected we're going to be able to give a foul here. And they were re- each one of them was reacting late, thinking the previous one was going to give the foul, and they just couldn't wrap him up. What struck me is he looks like he might be a little stronger, like maybe just a little extra work in the weight room on his, on his lower body,、uh, maybe his upper body, but just to fight through that contact. And then, you know, it could easily be lost. I mean, he had runs like that last year, especially late in the year, where he didn't finish. Um, and and you know, we were sort of you know, clutching, clutching. Oh, I can't believe he could miss, but you know, it's a fickle game, right? I mean, those finishes, the touches, it doesn't take much to be off. Um, and I think you know, he's been a great player for us here for the better part of a year now since you know, really, d e s e r v e gave him a big opportunity. Um, what we see from him consistently is that every couple of games at A bare minimum, he's going to come up with a moment of brilliance that's highlight worthy. And it's hard to keep players like that out of the lineup because of what they're capable of. That's actually a really good point because, as you say, I mean, I don't want to give the impression that I don't rate c a r o l I do. I think he's a phenomenal player.、Um, but there were times last season, as I say, especially towards the tail end of the season, where you, you had to play him 
because as you say, Dagan, it could just be one moment in 90 minutes that could change the game. But even if that moment didn't happen, we didn't have the depth to bring someone else on. Now we do. And I think, you know, your early point was about the competition. If I was Caro and I was seeing Simon Dingo coming off the back of a really good year at Union St. Gilles, which was actually better than Caro Matoma's year at Union St. Gilles, scoring in the preseason stateside games, scoring on the opening day at Luton, I'm going to be thinking, I need to pull up my socks. Um, so hopefully, you know, that sort of that will that, that will spur him on to greater heights. And as you say, looks stronger. He can ride those tackles a bit more, whereas last year he might have gone down. Um, but no, it was a it was a sensational goal, and I wouldn't be surprised to see that um in the goal of the season contenders at the end of the year, because it it was uh, a thing of beauty. Uh, and my words aren't doing it justice. Go and watch it again right now. Pause the album obsessed. Pause it. Go and watch the highlight of that video again. Then come back and then just kind of join us in the wow, what yeah. a goal. I'll I'll share with you because I think it's fantastic. Uh my daughter, when Matoma will score a goal of that ilk, will do the call from the game. And I assume you guys got the call over there, but he's done it again. That that lied. Uh, like she will say that when Matoma scores. Matoma, he's done it again. Uh, it just, yeah, I love it, right? I mean, yeah, he he has this singular sort of popularity. Um, I think we gave the goal its due here with all of us talking about it. Uh, but what an incredible yeah. moment! スコアで、また9月の30日にはアストンビラとのアウェイの試合を控えています。インターナショナルブレイク後はま、すべての試合がま、大体20時30分から23時なので、日本から見る時間帯にはもう完璧な、え、時間帯などがないかと思います。で、今回の